Welcome to Digital Toolbox. I'm Scott, and today we're going to go over the contour command. So the contour command is great for um, basically extra uh, extracting topo lines from a solid or contours from a uh, any surface you have. So we start out here with a, a, a sphere, a box, and a lofted surface that I've manipulated a fair amount. The basic contour command just slices up your object and gives you um, curves that represent those contours. So contour, um, it'll ask for a base base point for the first the first uh, entrant. So on the sphere, I can make it the the bottom point. I'll go ahead and do that, and then it'll ask for the second uh, the second uh, the direction con uh, of the con the contours. So the direction perpendicular. So if I have this going from the bottom of the sphere to the top, it'll give me um, slices uh, perpendicular to that axis. So I'll go ahead and select that. It'll ask for the distance between the contours. I'll put in. Uh, Two, that's whatever unit you're using and then it'll go ahead and generate those contours so here you can here you can see the uh, these highlighted items are those contours I recommend grouping them immediately command group and then they're all together and then you can drag these out and have these as a separate uh, group if you don't group them you know there you get to select them individually and that can kind of be a problem if you uh, misplace one or move one a little bit out of order or something so that's basically uh, for a sphere or any one item so on this uh, box we'll do contour and here the base points right here we'll go to the opposite uh, the opposite corner of the box we'll select two and here we go. I didn't uh, group them and now they're out here and I can select them individually. This selects uh, has them all uh, individual and uh, the join uh, the join command is also on so up here when you select the the contour command uh, when you're selecting your objects you can have a few different toggles so assign layers by the input object so it'll just put all of these on the same layer uh, that the object you're originally contouring is on or you can toggle that and uh, do the current layer if you're in a different layer join curves was also on too so uh, it takes uh, every side of these curves and join uh, puts them together. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, delete these uh, contours I just made, and then do it with uh, them unjoined. Join curves uh, is automatically uh, set to none in Rhino, so the default command doesn't join them for you. So we'll select this object and then do that same operation with that same uh, direction. And I didn't group them and they also aren't joined. So you can see that these individual uh, individual parts of those curves are all separate entities. So that's one thing to think about when you're uh, joining or when you're contouring is to make sure that that join option is on. Then finally the kind of more practical use for this is uh, a, just a surface not not uh, an object. So contour, uh, assign layers by current layer, we'll join the curves by contour plane and then say from here to here and there you go we have contour lines specifically for that individual surface so pretty useful command if you're 
creating a topo map or uh, trying to develop a, a surface more, you can uh, use these contour lines and extract them and uh, do something more advanced with those. So there you have it, the contour command.